Hello friends, my name is James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop Tritea. We are on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. We are currently working our way through the South Pacific and I can't wait to show you everything we see. We had a very eventful morning. Yesterday afternoon I swam over the anchor just to eyeball it and noticed that even though I put floats on the chain, it still managed to get wrapped around a couple pieces of coral. It was so much coral that was like listed as the unrestricted anchorage. There was a lot of coral, which is known to be common in the Tumotus. But, so this morning I got everything. I checked slack water. Slack water was at 7 a.m. I got up at 6, got all my gear together, filled up the little pony tank, and then had my scuba stuff on standby in case that pony tank wasn't enough. And um, dove on it with the pony tank got it all untangled and laid out so that it should pay up nicely which it did but i ran out of air on the pony tank on the way up and just had to hold my breath and ascend which was scary it was fine it was only like like 30 feet but not breathing and then not being able to breathe is nerve-wracking so pretty wiped though i got up and hauled everything up without incident and now we're underway to our next anchorage I can't remember the name of this spot we're heading to. It's named after some resort that's over there. We are now driving out <clears throat> to deep charted water. It's like the fairway and um, bound for a southern anchorage. It's supposed to be much more protected and better than this. They have mooring balls over there, public free mooring balls. That's what I'm gonna try to pick up tonight <clears throat> if they're not all full. Exciting life at anchor. Okay, we got anchored. This is definitely all sand, thankfully. Um, there's so many boats here. It for sure tells me that it's all sand. And visually, when I went further in, I could see the coral. We're in 45 feet of water. We have four scope out, which is all chain. Good sand holding from what the uh, cruising guides say. So the hook's set right away, no problems. And um, yeah. We'll just like start the tracker and uh, sit anchor watch for an hour and then see what we want to do from there. Probably going to stay here like four days and actually relax. This is supposed to be a really secure protected anchorage if the winds come back to normal and there's facilities and stuff on shore. I need to relax. Just sitting here enjoying the sunrise, I have my morning coffee. The sunrises here have been magnificent. Just gorgeous gradient colors, <clears throat> like lavender. I had a moment earlier where I was sitting in the cockpit and um, there's a giant super yacht, Satori. <clears throat> the internet says it's a $75 million yacht owned by a billionaire. And uh, I realized we both had the same view. 
so that's kind of winning at life. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then I wondered if the billionaire that owns it makes his captain drive him around in the tender and he has maybe one if he has 200 photos on his phone of his boat in this beautiful setting. Um, they have a 36 foot long tender that has its own AIS that I saw last night on AIS and it gives all the details. And uh, the quarter of each side of that super yacht open up into garages and they crane the tender in at the end of the night. It was bonkers. But we have the same view, Tritea and super yacht Satori. And it is a fantastic view, I tell you. Today's schedule is, I'm gonna head over just on the other side, like at, just inside the lagoon from the pass. There are a string of mooring balls so you can snorkel what's called the aquarium. And uh, you can just hook your dinghy up to it and snorkel that whole zone. It's just aft of this motu. And um, so I think I'm gonna head over there and see what that's all about. And then I'll head back and um, we'll go ashore this afternoon and have a look around at this end of the atoll. I'm catching up on emails from my passage. And I got an email from Ann, the editor of Flying Fish Publication, which is a printed publication released through the Ocean Cruising Club. And I have an article coming out about my time at Pokai Bay um, on Oahu in the December issue. Now, the club and the publication are based out of the UK, so there's certain words that don't, that aren't used in the UK. So they try to use the, the either add the equivalent to the UK version or something like that. <laughs> One of her questions about the article is I had mentioned that the, the boat was like a fun house because it was very rolly at Waikiki. So it's like the floor is moving. So I was like, oh yeah, it's like being in a fun house. <laughs> she wrote me and she was like, fun house is not a common term in the UK and it's actually used to describe a brothel. <laughs> I laughed very, very hard when I read that email. She was like, maybe we can adjust it to say, you know, an amusement building or something like that. But yeah, that shit killed me. All right, time to finish my coffee and uh, get the day started. We've just arrived to a reef that is a known snorkel site called the Aquarium. It's just behind this motu that kind of sits right in the middle of this pass. And they, um, any of the white mooring balls around are public use mooring balls. Clip your dinghy here and snorkel about. There's another, another a number of orange mooring balls that belong to snorkel companies and stuff, but we just picked up one of the white ones. The water is crazy clear. And uh, there's a booby bird sitting over there on a on another float. But the signs say Cintier Aquarique or something. Aquatique, Aquatique, number four it says. Um, so let's get in the water and check it out.
Oh my gosh. That was for sure the most beautiful snorkel coral reef I've ever seen in my life, which is not surprising. <laughs> I mean, you gotta go to places like this to see stuff that's totally, that's so healthy like that. That is, that is remarkable. Saw a number of fish I've never seen before. A lot of big boys swimming around. And uh, it's fun to get to see the black tip reef sharks. I've never seen those before. And a ton of just creatures everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere you look, you see more stuff. I'm definitely gonna be coming back and snorkeling over here before I leave Rangiroa. But man, fantastic. The viz was out of this world. And um, this is just a great spot. It's cool too, because that Motu kind of protects it like the tide's going out right now so there's probably a big current in the pass but this motu like protects it so there was i wasn't fighting any current whatsoever it was really comfortable easy swim snorkel and having these mooring balls so you can just clip your dinghy and not worry about it not have to drag it behind you fantastic Whew, now it's time to get back to the boat and make more coffee Got lunch knocked out, had a grilled cheese sandwich. Got the dinghy loaded up. Um, I transferred 10 gallons for, of water from the jerry cans into the main tank. So that I'm gonna try to go see if I can suss out a place to get water here. It's a little difficult on the atolls, but even if I can get five gallons, I'd be stoked. Um, I still have a seven gallon jerry can full of water. That's like my ultimate backup. And I probably now, since I put that in, Probably have 25 gallons in the main tank, which is which is chill. I'm also gonna take my trash ashore and find a dumpster to get that put into. Uh, so let's go check out what this village has to offer. Got the trash and the recycling knocked out. Wander around, look around. It's Sunday, so I bet most of these shops are gonna be closed. Looks like both of these grocery stores are closed. There's like probably three to one dogs. Three, three dogs for every one person on this atoll that I've seen. Just like free roaming pups kind of everywhere. They're all sweet, but it's funny. Like lots of tour boats out there and they will they'll drop divers in the water and then the current will take them through the pass they'll be down i guess some of those they'll drop to 100 feet watch all the sharks and everything holding on to something and then they let go and drift through the pass into the lagoon it's supposed to be a fantastic drift dive the pass is pretty mellow right now
It's like gorgeous broken coral as far as the eye can see. It's so crazy to look at. Very, very pretty. I simply filmed too much adventure. This is a double feature week, and if you'd like to see the rest of the adventure for this day, check out part two of Kia Ora Anchorage. If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching, fair winds until next time.